Congressman Jim Jordan. He's represented Ohio's 4th District. He's also a ranking member of the House Judiciary Committee. He just came out with a book, Do What You Said You Would Do, Fighting for Freedom in the Swamp. We're going to show you what the cover of that book looks like right now, right before we bring in Congressman Jim Jordan. Incredible book that he's going to tell us all about. We're going to cover anti-American curriculum, Dr. Fauci, and so much more. Congressman Jim Jordan, welcome to TVUSA Live. Good to, good to be with you guys today. Thanks for what you do. Well, tell us a little bit about the book, because that's coming out November 23rd. Yeah. You can pre-order that right now on Amazon, Barnes & Noble. What are you going to be covering yep. in that book? Well, we talk about the Freedom Caucus. We talk about how it was formed. We talk about when we did, made the decision to change speakers and, and force John Boehner to, uh, to, to leave the speaker's office. Um, we get into a lot of the investigations. I've had the privilege to serve on the Judiciary Committee, the Oversight Committee. And so we talk a lot about behind the scenes, look at when... When the IRS targeted folks like you, targeted conservatives around the country, uh, the, 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 the tragedy in Benghazi, uh, we get into that. I was on the Benghazi Select Committee. And then, of course, we spent a lot of time on impeachment when the Democrats tried to throw out the, the, the president who did more of what he said he would do than any president, certainly in my lifetime, but I think maybe in the history of this great country. And we try to give people sort of behind the scenes feel. One of, one of the stories we talk about is when my colleagues stormed the stormed the bunker in the basement of the Capitol when we were in there for depositions and mm. Matt Gates and, and Steve Scalise and others came down there. And then the reaction Adam Schiff had to it and how he stormed out of the room and also we, we try to get you behind the scenes so you can feel what took place. And then we talk about freedom. We talk about what makes this country a special, special place, the greatest nation ever. I think your, your, your viewers and listeners are gonna, are gonna enjoy the read. I hope they'll, I hope they'll get the book. Well, I can't wait to read it myself. But once again, that is Do What You Said You Would Do, Fighting for Freedom in the Swamp. That's coming out November 23rd. You can pre-order it right now on Amazon. But one thing that I know Dr. Sean and I have yeah. to love about you and every single American that watches you fight for them every single day, you just have this fighter mentality and you won't take no for an answer. And it seems like there's too often, like in this book, you're saying that people don't live up to what they said they would do. Trump. President Trump lived up oh, to what he, he said did. he would do, and yeah. it was refreshing. And then now we have an administration now that are not living up to any sort of standard that they said they would live up to at all. So how can people read this book and realize what really what they had, and you don't realize what you had until it's gone? Worst administration in history. We, we, went from, we went from a secure border to chaos. March was the highest month on record for illegal crossings until April. April was until May. May was until June. June was until July. It just kept going up. Mm -hmm. And yet Mayorkas says, oh, the border's secure. You gotta be kidding me. We, we, we went from energy independence to uh, the spectacle, the spectacle of the President of the United States begging OPEC to increase production. We went from safe streets to, to crime up in every major urban area while, because Democrats defund the police. We went from respect around the world to, to thousands of rockets being fired on our friend and ally Israel. And on down the list, you can go. So President Trump, greatest presidency we've ever had. Joe Biden, worst 10 months start to any presidency we've ever had. What a contrast for the American people to see someone who kept their promises, did what they said they would do in President Trump, someone who's done just everything wrong in, um, in Joe Biden. So, yeah, I, I long for the days of President Trump back in the White House. I think he's going to run. Um, and that's what this country needs, I, that we need him back in there on January 20th, 2025 doing what he said he would do, fighting for the American people. And I don't know, it's yeah. something that Dr. Sean, you and I have talked about quite a bit. We've talked about on the show, Congressman, yeah. that it seems like everything is over-politicized and hyper-politicized now. And you cover that yeah. in your book, that 2020 made everything political. That's something we've Absolutely. talked about. Absolutely. And you know, I'm on social media as a physician, and a lot of times even some of the posts that I post are taken down even as a pro-vaccine, pro-choice physician. And it's important for, you know, even youth to read your book when it comes out because we need leaders like yourself and congressmen to look up to that are really cutting through the fat and talking facts. Mm -hmm. And I feel yeah. like you carry that torch and we appreciate you for doing that. Well, the, the thing that gets me is like the, the, the here you got a doctor you're making up, you do some tweet or some post on Facebook and someone who has no medical training calls it misinformation, disinformation. Yeah. I mean, remember when, remember when uh, uh, Governor DeSantis did his roundtable discussion and he had as one of his panelists, uh, Dr. Bhattacharya, who's written in the Wall Street Journal, professor of medicine at Stanford, been on TV, you know, super smart fella, has him on the panel, puts this up on YouTube, YouTube takes it down. Yes. And I'm like, I, I, I told one group, I said, he's a professor of medicine at Stanford. I, I told him, I said, you know, it, it's, it's not the Big Ten, but it's pretty good, right? I mean, it's like, this is how crazy, this is how crazy it, the it left is. is. 
Because yes. it's all politics, as you say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How, how do we, and, and you know, talking on that, how do we protect free speech when it comes to being on social media platforms and having yeah. div- diverse opinions? You know, yep. maybe uh, one side of the alley or the other. It's okay to listen to both. Why do you feel like it's not, it's not allowed anymore to listen to the opposite opinion? Because the left is no longer, one of my good friends is Dennis Kucinich. He's old yeah. school liberal. He believes all the liberal stuff, but he's willing to have a debate and respect the First Amendment and do what, how we're supposed to do things in, in America. The, 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 you know, the uh, argue the ideas and, and have the real debate. That's how it's supposed to operate. Today's left's different. Today's left is, is you agree with me. And if you don't, you're racist, you're bad, you're terrible. You're not yeah. allowed to speak. And it's, it's frightening where they want to take us. So we got to take away the liability protection, Section 230. We got to speed up the process that antitrust actions can get to the Supreme Court so we can get an answer on this. We're looking to do both of those pieces of legislation. And then finally, the third piece we need is anytime they censor us, they need to tell us why. And we need a private cause of action so we can go after these tech companies personally when they're doing things that we know are just pure censorship of, um, of conservative thought. So Absolutely. those three, those three things are what we're working on as Republicans now. The, the tough thing is we're not in control. The Democrats run the federal government right now. Mm-hmm. So, but we got to talk us. about those ideas. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got to talk about those ideas and then get them passed when we're back in control.